All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video on my channel. So, um, today we are planning on getting the trifecta in Mad Rose's saying two things at the same time saga. Now, this one is YouTube comments edition. I'm guessing it's gonna be comments on the previous videos of people just sharing their stories in addition. Um, the past two videos were really entertaining, funny, and, well, typical Mad Rose fashion, really good in quality. Um, you seem to enjoy that as well. So, here, here we go. Nice. Why the, why the fuck not? Um, this is the third one, like I said. I think there is a second one for Twitter as well, but I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on that. I would have to look it up beforehand, but I think there is another one for Twitter. Anyway, um, as always, the link to the original video is in the description. Help him out and support him for his awesome videos. And yeah, that should be enough. Let's get going. My dog Scooby tried running at a poor girl walking towards me at night. I tried to shout Scooby and come at the same time and ended up screaming okay. scum while what? I ran with my walking stick in the poor girl's direction. Originate. Ayo. Uh, hey, like the longer, the longer the, the comment got, the worse it got. First of all, you, your dog tries to run at a poor girl. Like the She's already probably low-key terrified at that point. Then you scream scum in her direction, and you run at her with your walking stick. Like, you absolutely, most definitely terrified her that night. For sure. For sure. Bro, the poor girl. Damn. Um... Poor girl. She most definitely had a dead nightmare that night. That's for sure. Poor girl's direction. Originating from when my friend Luke asked for a football in Subway, we've run three videos now on accidentally mushing words together across both Twitter and Reddit, but I thought I would shine a spotlight exclusively upon your comments from those videos. I splashed a citrus-based drink into my eye and my co- a citrus based drink into my okay workers said my bad sorry i tried to tell him not your fault and no worries just said not bad as i cl <laughs> my eye in pain saying well, he's definitely going to tell that story when he gets home that's for sure Hey, guess what? My co-workers are fucking weirdo. Are you okay? And are you done at the same time? And okay. say, are you donk here? Eh? Like Shrek. My well, here's one thing that person has never been asked before. My friend's mum asked me what fast food place I'd prefer. I tried okay. to say I don't care and it doesn't matter at the same time. Accidentally told her that I don't matter. Ooh. Mood. I Ooh, like we went from asking about fast food places to being all f philosophical. I once tried to thank my co-worker who kindly made some coffee for me by saying, okay. oh, thanks, you're a sweetheart and bless at the same time. I ended up saying thanks. Do you know you're a Swiss? Once at my waitress, I tried to say bon appetit and here you go while giving a family their food. Ended up saying hepatitis. I Hey, yo, what the fuck? Nah, wait. You try to say bon appetit, and here you go. And you just said instead hep. Saying hepatitis. Okay. Oh, here you go, sir. Here's your go, go to hepatitis. Have fun. Enjoy. Um. What the fuck? Fuck. I tried to say my tongue isn't working and I'm tripping. Okay, that's already a very 
weird expression, but okay, let's Remember see where it goes. Words at the same time, and what actually came out was my tongue is twerking. <laughs> One time, my friend said that their mum was in the hospital. I tried to say, Oh, oh no, it's <laughs> oh. uh, we had the one like similar like this, like this one with the with the my my I think it was the nephew in the hospital and they are just being oh that's terrific it's those those are just the painful ones oh i'm sorry is okay. she okay and just said oh well i'm okay so that's just I being a dick up about life i was trying to say i am unstoppable and i can't be fucked with but i ended up saying i am unfuckable i want <laughs> Well, it could mean several things, let's be honest. In all fairness, it could. So, let's talk to my friend and we talked about our favorite animals. My peanut brain okay. tried to say I love ducks and seals too at the same time. Okay. Um, time it came out as my name's Ellen Sugar. I host The Apprentice and I, I love deals. My brother, okay, okay, that is that is a lot calmer than I, I was afraid she was gonna say. So, I'm gonna let you know what I thought, okay? I thought what she was gonna say, she's gonna say, I duck seals. With duck, you know, being basically the censored word of the original one. Well, not the first time my brain was a bit more fucked up than other my people's. I tried to say, close your mouth and be quiet. And all that ended okay. coming out was, be closed. I was with... <laughs> that's, that's the kind of shit teachers should say. Like, kids are acting off, they don't just don't shut up. Shut up. Be fucking closed. My you know? And I slapped a fly off her leg and I tried to say, Oh, there was a fly and oh, there was one on your leg. And I yelled, It's a leg! I once hit someone what? with my swinging lunchbox and I tried to say, oh, Sorry, and oops at the same time and then ended up shouting at some random student, Soup. Once my mum tried. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Like, always when I read these, it's like, this, this little mental image inside of my head and kind of trying to like imagine how it would, would look like the way they're describing and just the thought you're just slapping someone with your lunchbox and then you turn around and you just go soup and then you walk off that that would mind fuck me so crazy like I think for the rest of the day I could not think about anything else except what the fuck did he do? Why? First he slapped me and then he just says soup and walks off. What the fuck? I had to say take care and good night. Remember to take the money with you at the same time to the pizza guy. And then okay. just saying take the night with you. I used to work in a cafe shop. Uh, I meant to do. say hi, yes. morning ma'am. And are you hungry? I ended up saying horny slag. Um, what? You know what? Here's my theory. She did not say it on, on accident. How can you go from this and this to that? Like, ma'am and hungry. How, how do you go to slack from ma'am and hungry? Nah, man. Ah, she she did that half on purpose, at least. Whenever I get reminded of that, I just want to end my bloodline. I just ah, she has to, she has to. My mum was ordering food, and instead of saying chicken nuggets, she said, "Can I order some chuggets?" When I was ten, I tried to say so. Uh, okay, it could be worse. Time, but ended up whispering s -s 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 to a random tall guy at a water park. When I was in the third or fourth grade, I tried to ask what my teacher, fuck? "Can I use the bathroom and can I use the washroom at the same time?" And 
A watch room? What? And I ended up screaming, can I use the bathroom? I'm 26 now and that still haunts me. We yeah, that's one of those moments where you will always remember it. But everyone else will forget about it, like... The very next day. I was at work and it was pretty quiet, so a female customer and I had a chat for a good 30 minutes. Uh, being socially Damn. awkward, I'd already planned to end with It was nice to chat with you, too, if, if necessary. Necessary, necessary, an accessory. Pretty much once the conversation started. However, she threw a spanner in the works when she said it was lovely to meet you. And my response was, oh, I love you too. One day, my mum. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, that's very fucking awkward. Like, you can recover from that, but it's still... Ugh. Hiccuped and yawned at the same time, and she sounded like she was having a heart attack. Obviously, I'm gonna... How am I gonna do this? You ready? <coughs> I was in a crowd. Little story time. In 11th grade... Or year 11, I don't know uh, how you say it. Is, this, is it British? Is it American? Anyway, the 11th year of my... I wanted to say school career, but you can't really call it school... Uh, really a career, is it? If it's just suffering and awkwardness. Um, you know what I mean. We had this homeroom teacher. And her laughs, I swear to you. Like, when she was laughing... She sounded like she was hyperventilating. Like she went like, <gasps> it, that, that was her laugh. And like no one in our class knew about that beforehand. And then one of my classmates just dropped like a super unfunny joke, like a kind of unfunny joke you, you say on purpose, you know, kind of stuff. And it was like, Five seconds of silence because no one laughed because it was dumb as shit and all of a sudden you hear from the front you're like <gasps> and we just looked I, I remember i looked at it and i was genuinely terrified like, i thought he was like fucking choking or fucking suffocating i was really worried like for a second because we were like 16 or, or so back then and she sounded like she was suffocating or like gasping for air. And we were really worried, like, what the fuck do we do? Like, for a moment, I considered to stand up and just run into the classroom next to us and be like, hey, bro, she, she's gonna die, we need help. But it turns out she was just laughing. And that was her way of laughing. Like, literally, <laughs> that was her way of laughing. Like, no fucking cap. That's legit how she laughed. And... I mean, after that, we know what was going on. Was still a food to fucking laugh. But that was the very first time she laughed in front of us. And everyone was just freaked out. Like, we thought if this keeps going for like 30 small seconds, our homeroom teacher is going to fucking die in front of us. Yeah, that was quite the memorable moment. I heard someone say Prime is so amazing. So I tried to say. Yo, that is fucking cap. That is fucking cap. Like, I don't want to hit you with a story time after a story time, but that is fucking cap. I've tried, like, bro, six different flavors, and apart from one, all of them were ass. One was drinkable, and the other five were ass. Prime does not taste amazing. It's ass. I know it's bad, but because of my author vocabulary, I also try to say, no, it's horrible. So I ended okay. up just shouting, no, it's Bruh. Like, now these are the energy drinks, so they are, have a bit of a different design. Like, I will admit, the designs, they're fire. They're kind of cool. Like, I like how it's kind of similar, like what Monster Energy is doing. Every single flavor has a completely different color to it, to eat. Uh, have, has a different color. So if you have a favorite taste, you automatically like, uh, 
you see that color and you kind of remember the taste of that one particular energy drink type that you like. That's a cool concept. Um, personally, I have not tried the energy drinks. Only the hydration drinks that don't hydrate you. Um, but yeah, not was not a fan of the hydration drinks. From the hydration drinks, like this one was the drinkable one. This one was ass. This one was ass. This one was ass, and this one was fucking horrible. Like this was worse than ass. This was actually somewhat okay. But this one was a gigantic disappointment. This one was bad. And this one was just fucking disgusting. Like. I don't have a problem with drinking water. So that's not really. A comparison. But I could imagine even people who don't enjoy drinking water. Would rather drink water than this. Because this was just fucking awful. And they're like. So sweet. Yes. They're, they are artificial sweetness. Which is great compared to sugar at least some problems eliminated but there's so much of those in there it's so sweet like even some zero sugar energy drinks with artificial sweetness are not as sweet as these and it makes sense why it's sweet because kids like drinking sweet shit but yeah. Anyways. I've been going on a way too long ramble. Um, this video is not about Prime. This video is about YouTube comments. So, let's get back on track. Oh yeah, Hello. just that place. Thank you. Have you tried this before? Hmm? Have you tried this before? Yeah, yeah. Is it good? Okay. I've heard it's a bit... You know what I mean? You know, she kind of confirms it. She says she's tried it, tried it before, and that's the kind of face she, she does. Like, am I wrong, guys? Am I wrong? I once tried to say no problem and no worries to someone thanking me for giving them directions. I ended up saying no prairie and confidently walked away. Are you enjoying the job? Bro, Are you enjoying work? Are you enjoying the jerk? My... Yeah, I absolutely love the jerk. I look forward to it every single day. Brain is melting and my mind is breaking down. My mane is happy. My brain is melting and my mind is breaking down. Bro, were you, were you quoting some Linkin Park lyrics, lyrics or what? Having a breakdown, fasten your seatbelt and buckle up, buckle up. My That's kind of cool, honestly. Like. As the person saying it, you're probably going to be embarrassed, but. You know, doesn't sound as bad as it could. Balls my eyes out and I cried. I cried my balls out loud. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little bit different. Kind of of a different implication here loudly crying face emoji loudly crying face emoji try to tell my mum that a girl was giving me sass and attitude oh, okay. oh no what say? attitude ended up saying she was giving me ass once i've tried you know for some of these comments we need a bit of a follow up I want to hear what happened after. Just hearing this is good, but did you know, it could go a bit more into detail about the reaction from your mom after you told her that girl was, was giving you ass. Once after I grew my hair out, my sister wanted to say, so how's the long hair life going? It came out as how go hair long, the life going, the long hair going, treat the long hair, etc. for about a minute. Once I tried. 
Now that is a brain fart. To say squish and squeeze at the same time and said a squish. Harry Dorabai. Squish is my new favorite word. Recently, squish. this Halloween, my mum tried to say a Brussela Gordis. A sw Ah, okay, that's an actual term. I was like, what? Swedish for trick or treat. And okay. instead ended up saying a gross elbow dis. That is Swedish for what do you want? Cuddling or cuddling. Wait. This like Okay, you can pr you probably can't translate word by word. That's not how most languages work. But those these two words mean the same thing. Also, I like the choices you have. Do you want cuddling or do you want cuddling? Throwback to when I wanted to say, oh, I love succulent plants and I own a lot of succulents. It came oh out. Oh, I own a love pants. I love pants. I tried to ask. Okay. That was kind of underwhelming. I was very focused on that suck part. But I didn't even come up. You own love pants. What the, what the fuck is a love pants? I love pants. I tried to ask for a white coffee with cold milk and ended up... A Bro, what the fuck is a white coffee? Now... This could very well be because my knowledge of coffee is very limited. Mainly because I don't drink coffee because I just don't like the taste of it. That's probably why I'm hooked on energy drinks instead. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna assume it's either a special blend or it's coffee with milk. Probably coffee with milk, right? the coffee drinkers of you in the comments let me know because i really don't know i really have no idea but but, but i'm gonna get i'm guessing it's just coffee with milk okay so and what did you say asking for coffee with uh, white milk oh okay white milk as opposed to the green one Let's try saying sit down and share at the same time to two children and my Okay, this this sound like it's gonna be good. My dumbass said a shit air Oh. I thought you were gonna say shit down. That would have been even funnier. Scalamoji was trying to answer a question in high school chemistry class, but couldn't decide between choice B or choice C. Oh, high school chemistry, yo. Ugh. Memories, but definitely not fond memories. Physics was even worse, but chemistry was also absolutely not my favorite. You just ended up letting out a loud, strangled bees one time when I was in art. Bro. Club after school, so random. my classmate tried to say, oh, that's nice and that's lovely, but ended up telling me... That's lie. Went out with my roommate today. I asked what? her if she had a phone charger with her. She was trying to say, well, yeah, it's in my purse. And yeah, I've got it, I've got it on me. And ended up saying, yes, it's in me. Mmm. Lovely. I tried to tell my co-worker to chill out and calm yourself, but ended up saying, go chill yourself. And then he misheard it. Fuck my- Oh. Oh, okay. Like, I was about to say, go chill yourself. Doesn't sound that bad. But then, you misheard it. Oh. You know what? That is a very good strategy. Maybe I should use that on some of my coworkers. And hope that they mishear it as well. That is... Yo, psych girl. You might actually be a psychic. You've got something cooking there, right there. I will consider trying that. And consider telling some of my co-workers to kill themselves. I 
thought I'd end was somewhat conceitedly with a compliment from Christoph Kemp 6400. Me and my brother okay. love your videos and I like to keep them informed Aww. of when you post a new video. Hey, we do too on this channel, mate. We we love your videos. Video. One time I went to tell him new Matt Rose video, but instead of saying Matt Rose, I okay. said Rat Moses. <laughs> what? What? Rat Moses. Well, that's a term I have never heard before. Bruh. Oh no, is he gonna... Oh no, man. Please don't do that to yourself. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> but I can understand that reaction. I really do. Like I said, I've tried tasted it before. The the hydration ones, not the, the energy drinks. Uh and they were yeah. A waste of money. I would legit prefer drinking water over that. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Once again I managed to drag it out like crazy. Um I hope it wasn't too boring for you guys. Like I said, I think there is a second Twitter one. But I have to look that up. I will have to look that up. I am not certain. Um, Yeah, if you enjoyed that video and you have suggestions for other videos, maybe from Matt himself or someone else, um, feel free to let me know in the comments. And... Until then, I hope you have a great Saturday, a nice relaxing weekend, and thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care, and bye!